All right, hello, people. <clears throat> so we're playing some more of this wonderful game. So I switched. I'm switching to OBS currently. Um, I'm having some issues with GeForce Experience. So we will see what happens. Like it's it's recording the wrong thing. Um, from time to time. Come on. All right. It's not really we're still on episode friggin' one. Previously during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another. Okay, we just got done with this. I remember this now. It's been like a week since I did my last recording. We were doing the funny parts. With all these randos. I can't believe you thought I was a suspect, Agent York. I'm still in shock. I'm still not convinced you're not. Hmm. Can't talk to him. Emily don't want to talk. Let's go up this way. We may have missed a person or two. Let's see. Yeah, except we're going down this hallway. Uh huh. Anna was an airhead. What do you mean? I wouldn't have guessed. Are you saying she was killed because she was an airhead? Or are you saying that she was an airhead for being killed? I'm sure <laughs> she's still an airhead even in heaven. She changed her hair every day. If she lost a pound, she'd be ecstatic. Gain one and she'd almost be in tears. She broke many, many plates every day at the diner and she'd always have a smile on her face. Always having fun. Everyone looked at her and knew she was a cute, adorable, loving airhead. But they would be smiling right along with her. I wouldn't be surprised if the angels smiled with her too. <laughs> Isaac and Isaiah said that Anna was a fairy of the forest. A goddess. Goddess of the Forest. Agent Morgan, I'd like to let everyone go home now. Let's go outside. Absolutely. He's a son of a bitch.
Well then, Agent York, do you have any plans for this evening? I was going to head back to the hotel and go over my notes. I need to contact HQ and give a progress report, too. Okay, then let's call it a day here. Sounds good. Contact my office when you finish your report. We'll pick you up tomorrow morning. Diane, the owner of the art gallery, should be back soon. All right, then, let's do that. Sorry, I was ordering food. I probably should have peeked. Whatever the fuck I was supposed to peek at. Yeah, I'm, uh... Gonna be ordering some food here. Sorry, I probably should have done this before I started recording. Fuck off. There we go. Sorry, give me a moment here. I do apologize. Excellent. I like that. So I just up there, upgraded to the, uh... Okay, where are we going? To the new version of, um, Android, Android 12, the beta. Please tell me this car has some gas. Shit, 2,000 yards away, I guess that's where we're going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's hit that, let's hit that. Let's hit that. I'm gonna flip my fucking car again. <laughs> Investigation failure. We will continue. Sorry, I was actually distracted driving. Oh, damn, I'm hurt. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, 
hopefully there's a police car with some um No, oh, this isn't good. Please tell me there's a police car over here. Okay, I see one. Well, that's only the second time I've done that. I mean, I've obviously learned. No, oh, never mind, we we're at 58%. I lied. We did not get a free gas up. I still don't know who the fuck to get gas. I haven't seen like a gas station or anything. Hopefully I go this way. So, where shall we go next? Okay then, Zack. Let's go back over our progress. First the victim, Anna's death. She was found hanging from a tree in the forest. She was cut open with a knife from her chest down to her stomach. That was the direct cause of death. The strangulation marks and skull fracture were caused after death. Her tongue was also bit off, and I found something inside her mouth. Do you remember what that was, Zack? That's right. We found the same red seed in her mouth. According to Emily, it was raining when Anna was killed, but traces of tears were still evident on her face which means the perpetrator killed Anna under a roof in the lumber mill and then carried her body into the woods after it stopped raining. We found numerous important pieces of evidence at the site of the crime. A total of four things. Knee prints in the grass. A wood chip with metal dust. A photo of a man with a tattoo on his back and... One other thing. Do you remember what that was, Zach? Shit, no I don't. I think it was 
stiletto. That's right. A broken stiletto heel. Aligning this with the other evidence suggests that two people came into contact with Anna's body prior to it being discovered by us. Those being the perpetrator who killed Anna and Miss Stiletto Heel. There is also the possibility that a third party carried Anna to the woods. That means we could be dealing with three people. Two or three people. In any case, Miss Stiletto Heel may have vital information. We need to find her next. We didn't use forensic methods, but we're still closing in on the criminal. <sighs> Have I forgotten anything? Ah, of course. The marks on her hand tell us that Anna was gripping something when she died. Do you remember that, Zack? What do you think she was holding on to? Possibly a sharp knife. That's wrong, oh. Zach. Come on. Answer again. What do we suspect Anna was oh, holding? Oh, that's right. It was the hair. That's wrong, Zach. Huh? Come on. Answer again. What do we suspect Anna was holding? A round object, then. That's right. A round object. The marks on her hand suggest a peace mark. The man in the photo found in the woods had a tattoo of an upside down peace mark on his back. These two could well be related. But we don't know for sure. Next, the town folk. A few are worthy of special attention. Carol McLean, the singer and bar owner. She's Thomas's sister. Then there's Nick Cormack, the owner of the diner. Both of them seem to be hiding something. There's Diane, the owner of the art gallery, who's out of town. Then we have problematic, old, rich, and eccentric Harry. Both will be tough to crack. Well, we just have to go one by one. I've been thinking. One of the biggest rewards here is the fantastic food. Enjoying food is cultural, and yet it's also a bit uncivilized. It's interesting how good food motivates me to work harder during investigations. Oh, and on Emily's back, it was strange to me. Hey, don't take that the wrong way, Zach. I wasn't getting all excited or anything. <laughs> but it did make me feel strange, nostalgic, and sad, almost. I wish I would have peaked them whenever the It's starting to rain. Oh, God. I think this case may take a while. Ellie! Last time, Ellie! I'll eat later. You'll eat right now, young lady. You need to listen to your mother. I want to hear the rest of the story. Eat your lunch, then take a nap. Then I'll tell you the rest. But I want to hear it now. There's no need to rush things. You must live your life at the pace that is right for you.
to say there shouldn't be any more unpaid wage because we literally just did this. Oh, we finally cleared episode one. Speaking of that, so we will be back in the next one, folks. See you next time.